The Lord says, My word is fire. I do not bring peace, but a great division. Trumpet call of God. August 6, 2010 From the Lord our God and Savior The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord God of hosts Behold, I had purified my servant Israel And in my seal I purged Jacob Leaving his descendants to wander in desolate lands for forty years that I might make them a kingdom of priests, a holy nation, a people set apart for my name. For I am God alone, the only Lord of hosts, there is none besides me. Therefore, from the beginning I laid the foundations, and from the beginning was the day of the Lord prepared, that my glory would be revealed, in my judgments, and my power shone as I stretched out my hand against the heathen and the oppressor, that all in the earth may know and remember I am the Lord. For behold, at my strong rebuke the mighty king was cast down, and with the backward swipe of my hand the increase of Egypt was laid waste, consumed by all manner of pestilence and plague. For in my anger I greatly afflicted the people in the land of Egypt, even to the firstborn of man and of beast, which I killed with death. Yet Israel, my inheritance, remained untouched by my hand, nor did I allow them to be harmed in my judgment. Lo, even death passed over them when I saw the blood upon their doorposts. Though my wrath covered all of Egypt, and pestilence and plague inundated the land, Thus by the power of my own right hand I delivered them, and by the strength of my arm did I bring them out. And when their enemies pursued them, I rose up and fought for my people, Israel. Behold, by the breath of my nostrils I opened a way for them in the midst of the sea, and they escaped, crossing over dry shot, while the waters stood roiling on the right and on the left. And when I had brought them through to safety, I looked down upon the army of the Egyptians and greatly troubled them. Behold, I covered them in my anger and crushed them under the weight of the sea. Thus the slaughter was very great, causing all who heard of it to tremble. Behold, I caused my name to resound throughout the generations on that day, that all nations may fear the Lord and know there is no other God besides me. Yet, how did my people repay me? With grief, yeah, with a multitude of complaints they troubled me, until I was sorely displeased. Behold, ten times they tempted the Lord their God, though I had shown them my glory by many mighty signs and wonders in the land of Egypt and in the wilderness. Therefore, because they rejected me and refused to give heed to my voice, I stretched out my hand against them. Yes, many were cut off from the earth and from their people among the generation who had provoked me to anger. And not one entered into their inheritance save those whose hearts held fast to the promise, whose countenances did not waver, 
for they were of a different spirit and had shown themselves fully worthy. Neither did they cease from giving me glory, offering up praise and thanksgiving in my name, at all times and in every season. Therefore only two sons of Israel entered the promised land of the generation who had provoked me to anger. Only two were chosen to lead the generation which came after. For I am the Lord God of Israel, the only God, He who is great in power and clothed with eternal glory. I change not, even from generation to generation, I am the Lord. Therefore I ask you, what is this I see among my flocks, yes, even among you, the small of my flock? Pretense upon pretense, hidden agendas, and darkness of faces, many ill sheep looking to tread the line when it so suits them, forsaking my ways when they become inconvenient, fleeing in heart and mind when the heat of my face is revealed a most wayward people, foolish children who know not my ways, turning their face always from my correction. And what is this I hear amongst the churches of men? What is this I behold in the hearts of many, even some among this little flock? Grumbling and secret complaints. Behold, my own beloved have reproached me, saying, Speak not the word of the Lord in the fierceness of his wrath, nor in truth, which is absolute. Remove from us all these sharp words. Speak to us smooth words. Prophesy to us deceits. Let us be at peace in our ignorance, and take solace in the darkness of our understanding. Let all accountability pass from us. Let it go far away and never return. Therefore is the Lord risen up in his hot displeasure, and shall bring every heart forward. Every evil thought and hidden intention shall be revealed and brought into the light. All shall be put on open display. The multitude of their errors shall be shown up, and the faith of many shall be revealed for what sort it truly is. For they have surely hated me, says the Lord, rejecting both me and my word. Yet I have indeed bestowed upon this generation a multitude of gifts, a great number of words, words of warning and unsurpassed wisdom words of exaltation and correction, calling all in the earth to repent. Lo, I have expounded many words of unending love, with great passion, revealing my mercy which endures forever. Behold, I have proclaimed the way of salvation, time and time again, and he whose name is the salvation of God. Yes, I have blown the trumpet and called forth my watchmen. I have struck the gates and rattled the doors. I have shaken the foundations of the earth, and still the people hold fast, clutching the pillars and shoring up the doors against me. Yet from the beginning I have established a line, a narrow way, which I had placed in the midst of my people, Israel, and in my mercy I revealed the way in which all people should walk. Even now I have placed a plumb line in the midst of all who say they are my people, setting all these crooked paths straight. Or do you still suppose that I have come forth to bring peace on earth? No, not peace, but great division.
Behold, I have come forth to correct and discipline, to rebuke and pass judgment, to make war and divide the spoils. For my word is fire, stoking the flames of the elect and searing the consciences of the lukewarm, setting the hearts of the wicked ablaze with anger, and causing the indignation of the rebellious to rise up against me, that I may divide all people asunder and allot their portions. Therefore, thus says the Lord to all people, You shall be undone, and all who rebel against me shall be torn in pieces, and you, even you who are called Christian, shall also be tried. Behold, like silver, tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times, so shall I purify you. Even I shall burn away your dross, until you also have become a holy people, set apart for my name, grafted in. For I must refine my people and separate my flocks, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, as the hired man calls them out from amongst them. For I am their shepherd, and in the hired man I shall surely dwell. Yet if they refuse to come out, they shall surely endure the consequence of their error. For the churches of men hold fast in their pride and sit still on account of their arrogance, saying, This is my house, and these are my people by which I am called. I will not come up. For we alone are righteous, and we together will not give heed to any trumpet. We will reject every call to come out. We will refuse all messengers sent to us by God, lest he expose our guilt and uncover our shame. For only those who come in their own names and bear the marks of our affiliation will be embraced. And only those who bring us food according to our own palates, will be accepted. Let us alone. Has the Lord's table now become contemptible in your eyes? Has the way of God become unrecognizable to you? How is it my voice has now become altogether foreign to you, O churches of men? Therefore thus says the Lord God to the churches of men, because you have spoken in such a manner, with your hearts revealing the same, and because you have pushed out the hand against the cleansing of the Lord, choosing rather to revel in all your uncleanness, you are given up and shall be purged by fire, refinement in the day of the Lord. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, my every word a purifying flame. The presence of the Lord is an oppressive storm, which abases the proud and causes the high-minded to flee. And that which I have spoken to this generation, is it not a sword with which I shall strike at the heart of this people? For I shall surely set all this crooked path straight and burn away the dross. Yet for those who trust in me, and in whom my spirit dwells, my words are like a strong tower, set in the midst of battle, which can in no wise be broken down, a great trumpet blowing upon the hill outside the city which echoes throughout the waste places. A waving banner for this generation, a bright light, a beacon shining in the midst of this present darkness, a rod of justice for the oppressed and the persecuted, 
a loosening of the chains placed upon my people, the breaking apart of every shackle, freedom for those who love me, deliverance for those who understand, strength for the weak, grace to the humble, manna to nourish the penitent. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord, for thus declares the Lord, All those who depart the churches of men shall come and sit at my table. And those who remain unmoving, holding fast, resting proudly upon their lords, shall receive the recompense of their error, for their fate shall be even as the house in which they have placed all their trust, a house which is already condemned. For I am the Lord alone, and I will not share my glory, nor shall any corrupt house stand, though man has endeavored to place my name there. No more shall my name be polluted because of you, O churches of men, no more shall the name of the Son of Salvation be perverted before the multitude because of you, O houses of harlots. For you have surely committed adultery by your doctrines and have played the harlot by your traditions, welcoming in many lovers. For thus says the Lord, the Son of Salvation bears my name, and I his. For the Father and the Son are one, even as my word is one, from the beginning one. Therefore I am coming down to you once again, to purge and to divide the spots, to pass judgment upon the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord.